a debatable matchup of who wins. Um, some say Fox, some say Falcon. Uh, for the neutral, Fox really wants to get those legends out there because if Falcon just runs in and up smashes or grabs, it will most likely lead to a zero death. Um, so this is D4, so the, the level is probably going to be a little bit lower. So it's not going to be as fast paced or like combo heavy. Oh, that, nice double legends to get that fair. If he hit the Z cancel, he might have been able to close out the stock earlier. Oh, but he's getting this edge guard. Really nice bears. Oh, nice to get that second back after the late one. A little shine work. Okay, I see you. Alright, so he could have pivot up air then. It would have been the hook up air, and it would have probably killed him. If not, edge guard opportunity that would have lived to his time. Alright, so Griffith wants to run all the way over there. Uh, hit Fox. Fox doesn't have a jump, so you gotta be very careful with what you do with him. Right, quick combo. Well, he ended it prematurely, but he got him off stage. Ooh, now Falcon's Dog Hug will do that. If you're standing too close to the ledge, it'll just come over that lip and grab you and toss you, ruining your edge guard, ruining your possibilities of closing with another stock. Ooh, it was smart to wait like that and try to walk forward and catch him. Uh, I like the attempt, even though it was poorly executed, it was a great try. Uh, back throw, it's not gonna kill, but. So, this is probably going to lead to a stock. Ooh, down smash, not the best option he had there. Nice shines. Right, that's going to lead to a kill. So now, Griffith does have a lot of damage, so it's likely he could lose the stock right now, going down 4-2. That's what happens. Now, what you want to see from Griffith is more, um, more combos. Now, Falcon can zero to death. Even any touch he gets, he could usually lead to a kill. Falcon is just that kind of character. Ooh. Oh, interesting uh, recovery. He just flies right into Griffin. Oh, side tilt into down air. Alright, good DI, but uh, Stu reads it and gets that back throw. And it looks like he's about to close out another stock with that edge hog. Griffin taking a moment. Recollecting. Ooh, see, he just ran in there, got those grabs. But forward throw, maybe back throw would have been a better option at that percent. Ooh, he flubs that. Is picking up on microphone. Such a baby. Alright. Nah, I hate doing it by myself. Some people like it. Clubber like really likes it. I think it's harder. Yeah, I agree. It's better to have someone helping you out. For Shizzle. Um, so it looks like Stu has got this one. But as we've seen, he can't really follow up with his throws or his smashes. He usually doesn't get the zero to death. Right, Stu, so pretty, uh, pretty strong showing against the Falcon. I don't know if Griffith has any other characters to go or if he's gonna stick. It seems. Oh, the switch. Alright, I didn't know he had a Pikachu, so this will be interesting. So, everybody knows that Pikachu is one of Fox's worst matchups. Um, I'm not sure the level of play we're about to witness right now, so I can't say who's gonna win. But yeah, in general, at equal skill levels, the Pikachu can do some serious damage. You just have to really throw him off. If Pikachu has such a good recovery, he can just run out there and just hit them and come back perfectly. Yeah. And, yeah, Fox just can get gimped so easily. All of his angles are so predictable. But when you're trying to edge guard with forward smash like that, it's, you're going to have a bad time. Uh, it's usually safe to go out there while they're charging. As soon as they hit up B, they have to sit there for a couple of frames. And it's usually safe to go out there and just hit that. Yeah. Especially with an up air. Oh, yeah. So you don't generally have to stay on stage. Interesting up B from uh, Griffin. Oh, nice pivot onto the ledge. What the? Oh, unsafe jabs. You cannot jab a peak like that in the front of the show. You'll get grabbed. Alright, so it's a pretty tight game. 28%. Not much. That, like, delayed little short hop 
Nair on shield. That's interesting pressure. Oh, see, though, he just did that. Those jabs aren't safe. Maybe if he pivot jabbed so we got behind him, that might be safer, but... But not right in front. Yeah, he'll get grabbed. Interesting Yeah, enough. jab, you know, uh, Nair out of shield. Yeah, there's a lot of options we can just do to, like, put you in the disadvantage. Alright, nice forward smash. Probably gonna go to the top of that one. Now, a, lot of, a lot of people like the forward smash just because it covers so much ground and it sits out there for a long time, yeah, so it, it feels safe. The only downside is if you do it incorrectly, they can get some really nice ledge DI. Yeah. Either just make them live or put it to reverse ledge DI where they get back onto the stage completely. And then there's also if you miss that forward smash, you're sitting there for like a year oh, and a yeah, half. Yeah, because the, the move lasts so long, so you're just sitting Oh, no there. extension. On that B. Oh, he, he shorted it. <laughs> Tied game. See, he tried to go for it that time, but uh, he was too far away, so we couldn't get it. Uh, all right, nice shine. Uh, and the shine action. actually works against Pika. Oh, could have had a, a couple of them. Could have had a could have had a better angle on that up B recovery, but yeah, definitely could have had a better angle and a better option to get him off besides shine. But he made it work surprisingly, despite what we know. Putting, as putting as well. Pika low, uh, I feel like that works out pretty well. When Pika's like, you know, even with the stage or a little bit above, just has like, I feel like more options. When Pika's below the stage, you kind of know where they're going. I think Pika's recovery is worse when he's coming from uh, below. Yeah. I think it's better when you're like on the, the like even with, yeah, when even with the stage. Because you can go high, you can go middle, you can go sweet spot. You have a lot more options. Oh, nice uh, down tilt to get that throw. Tacking on a little bit of percent with uh, those lasers. Now, a jab up smash will kill Pikachu right now. Yeah, for sure. See if he can use this edge guard. Oh, or nice, he read that up, B. Okay, so he Dude, down, wiping off his hands. Stock. Wants to take this last stock. He Close just wants to set. get it over with. He wants to just get his advancement. Okay, nice down drill. Oh, to a throw. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, no follow up. There's good lasers to cover the ledge, though. Yeah. Man, Steve just like furiously presses buttons. He wants it. He's hungry. Oh, nice down air. Lasting for forever. And he makes it past. Oh, what? That's dash attack. Oh, up smash. Jab. There it oh. is. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Flubbing. No, oh, maybe he the didn't, nerves? He didn't move forward. Okay, that's wow. what I'm talking will just sit there waiting for you to come hit him. He's At this percent, he could just the up air. <laughs> Why, thank you, Stu. <laughs> Thanks for demonstrating, giving <laughs> us an example.